Strange creatures in the sky in Florida about a week ago? On the ago? 16th of January, around 3 a.m., Florida residents said they were awoken by a strange sound emitting from the sky. These reports came mostly from people living near the Gulf on the West Coast. They described the sounds as very loud and disturbing. Though they only lasted just a few minutes, many of the residents said they were never able to fall back asleep. And it wasn't until around 8.30 a.m. the next morning, their claims were validated because the sound started again. The only difference is this time, it wasn't dark out, it was daylight, and they spotted something odd in the sky. Baffled, they began pulling out their phones and recording the event. One man got the following footage. Now the following is for entertainment purposes only, and it may or may not be true, but I want y'all to let me know in the comments what you think it is, because based on what I see, they're back. As always, before we begin, y'all know the drill for entertainment purposes only. This may or may not be true. Based on the information I'm giving you, you decide. I'm not swaying you either way. Enjoy. All right, my people, I want you to listen closely. Check it out. Look what's going through the light. One, two, Three, there's four, five. Huh? Check it out. Now in this next clip, I slow it down half and then zoom it in. Is that amazing or what? Here it is, zoomed in, slowed down. Take a close look. The dark beams flying through the beam of light. There's another one. You can almost see them glide. Watch the wings. You can almost see them flap. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's a really good shot right there. That is a whole clan of them. A whole flock, if you will. I don't know how else to say it. Now, hear me out on this. Some of the sounds you heard just may not be the dragons themselves. See that? Now, what the hell? I'll get with you after the rest of this video and we'll talk some more in a second. I hope it's getting Here's it on the camera, instance. I can't even see the screen. Holy shit! What in the hell? Hear the horn. This is bizarre! You see that? I don't think, I'm not sure this was shot in Florida. I, I think, maybe it was. I think it was the same day. See that cloud right there? These sounds started at 8.30 a.m. Well, essentially the first sounds yeah, were at 3 a.m. 8.30 a.m. and then they're on. And it lasted quite a while by the sounds of it. From what I read. I see and I was reading on first-hand accounts from people who live in West Coast, Florida. What in the hell is going on? People this were saying bizarre. their children were terrified crazy. and couldn't go back to sleep. And people haven't slept, a lot of them, just a few hours a night since then. Whatever the sound was shook them to their core. Whoa, look at that, the red one, you see that? Huh? Wild, y'all. All right, fam, for the second part of our conversation, I'm just going to have the clip rolling in the background with no sound. So check me out. That, white, that light, that, that light that is emitting some, what seems to be somewhere from a cloud, right? And it seems to be pointing at the subjects, the, the alleged creatures, okay? Now, you hear a loud sound emitting from it as well, right? Now, my loyal night god people, y'all remember from Texas when I did the dragon in Texas, right? I have a hunch or a theory about that whole situation. Now, do I believe there was a dragon there? Absolutely. But I also believe that 
there was some governmental testing going on as well. Meaning, or not necessarily government, but it could have been any type of entity. So I believe that what they were doing at that time was possibly seeing if they were capable of calling one in. Now think about it. You get reports all over a certain city that people are seeing what they believe is a freaking dragon. Well, you either got to figure out where it's at so you can capture it or A, capture, B, you know, the latter, which I would avoid doing at all costs, killing it. Just like any hunting or any game, they have calls. You would want to try and call it in to see if you could draw it in. And I believe that's what they were doing in Bryan, Texas around that time. And they answered the call. I also believe that the light being emitted from that cloud is not a dragon. Whatever that light is, is deterring the dragons. It's some sort of possibly new technology. It looks as though it's honestly just a massive, like almost as if it's a massive reflector of the sun's beam. Because I don't know what else to say about that light. It's got to be using the sunlight. It's got to be using the sun's rays and then refracting them. And must be that coupled with sound pushes the dragons out of the area. Because obviously that's what they'd want to do. And dragons always seem to fly in clouds. That's the only time you ever see these sunbeams. These sporadic sunbeams while they're pointing all over. They're pointing at the numerous dragons. Because from what I see, these dragons, they travel in a family clan, in a pack. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the other possibility, though. Could that light be a portal? A portal in which these dragons or creatures are coming through. I know the legend says, or I've heard from many different sources, that dragons are interdimensional beings. And I've even seen video where it seemed as though the dragon was traveling as ether. It was insane. I saw it on YouTube and it was caught on a weather camera, to be honest. But yeah, that's really rare, I imagine. More so, I've actually seen actual physical on video dragons anyway. It's really rare to catch them on video because honestly, look, they always fly within the clouds. They hardly ever are caught in the open. And if they are, it's in between clouds. You never hardly see dragons flying on clear, sunny, beautiful days where you could spot them or pick them out easily. Obviously, otherwise there'd be a lot more sightings, right? Throughout this journey as a creator, I've absolutely been fascinated and absolutely loved the content I've made about dragons. I'm passionate about it. Uh, I love it, whether it's absolutely true or not. There's no telling. I love, regardless though, if, if the lore and legend says, and I, to me, I've seen more than enough proof to justify my thoughts on yeah, I think there is a good chance that they exist. And y'all, trust me, when I started this whole thing, I would have never believed in dragons in a million years, giants. I didn't even believe in Bigfoot. Like, I know it may sound crazy to somebody who is, you know, more or less uh, who doesn't believe in that stuff. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all big part because of you guys. Uh, some of the testimonials and some of the stories you guys give me are like nothing I've ever heard. So if y'all have a dragon story, shoot it to me, nightgod87 at protonmail.com. I want to hear it. All right. And maybe I'll tell your story. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay in the love, stay in the light. Treat others how you want to be treated. I am out.